Most second brain notion videos are just trash. You watch these videos because you want to organize your life and just stay productive. But what ends up happening is the more videos you watch, the more confused you get about building your second brain. And for those that don't know what a second brain is, it's essentially your ultimate life planning productivity system on Notion. It allows you to highlight your tasks for the week, tasks for the day. It allows you to schedule things in your calendar, track your earnings, create a vision board, and a whole lot more. It essentially allows you to have all your life's projects, goals, and routines in one place. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I believe is the most easy and simple Notion template to use. I've customized this template for myself, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how it was built so you could build one for yourself just by using Notion. Or you can just use the first link in my description and get it already done for you. So this is the homepage of the Creator OS template. So as you can see, everything on here, you can edit. You can edit this. You can have it say a uh, welcome and your name if you want. The most important things that I have on here are the weekly tasks, the daily tasks, uh, quick captures. So this is the most like important stuff, like your urgent tasks, your thoughts and your ideas. So you can just kind of put all these things inside of here and a commonly used section right here. So if you want to have a brain dump, just to kind of get thoughts off your off your mind and just put it on something really quick. Uh, daily journal as well. And then your content machine. Now, all of this stuff, I'm going to go into more detail, but I just want to show you what this homepage is uh, looking like. And then you have your non-negotiable tasks for the season. So right now we're in the summertime. And so you have your main goals right here. So everything right here is populated with like example uh, material so that you kind of have an understanding of how to use it. Uh, so say, say for example, one of your main goals is to get 100,000 subscribers on one of your social media profiles. You can definitely do that. And so you can put that here, your current numbers, your target numbers, and this will keep track of your progress. Other things that's going on for the summertime, these are some other tasks that you can have right here. Of course, you can always change these around. And then you have your yearly goal uh, tracker and I'll have your progress right here. And then your business profit tracker right here as well. So your total profit database and your current month profit database. So let's click on that real quick. So you have, you can change the year obviously because it's 2024. Um, and then you have all the different months and you can put your income in here. This is just to kind of keep track of your money uh, for your business or even just for your personal, um, you know, your life in general. You use this however you want to, but this is what's in here. Your different income streams, you can keep track of all your different income streams as well. And even uh, your accounts. So for example, you can keep track of all your different uh, business accounts, crypto accounts, things like that, you know, if you feel like it. So that's there. And then you even have a calendar right here at the bottom to where you can just kind of update things as you are going along with your, your days, your weeks, your months. If you need to input something, then you could just input something in here. So say for example, you have a therapy appointment. You can just put therapy inside there, boom. And you have therapy right here. All right, so right here we have the vision section right here. And so here you can go ahead and kind of break that down. So we click into there. It's broken down into three different sections, a three-year vision, your one-year goals, and then your progress. So right over here, uh, all this is example information. It'll be inside your template. It's just a brief overview of what I want my life to look like three years from now. If we take a look at the one year goals, the most important things I need to achieve this year to get closer to my three year vision, save $100,000. And then you can just add on to that list. These are just one year goals. All right. The purpose of all of this is to keep track of what your your goals for your vision so that therefore you can take action. It's much easier to put your stuff down kind of like on paper or somewhere where you can see it, read it, keep track of it, keep yourself accountable. And then this is just a progress section right here, just to track the progress towards your one year goals. All right, so right here in this brain section, this right here is to an analyze your mind. So don't allow your ideas to die within your mind. Transcribe them and transform them into actuality. So we click on the brain section and it has your daily journal, your brain dump and your me 3.0. So the point of all of this is to journal, dump your brain, find reoccurring patterns, understand yourself. This is to truly organize your thoughts and the things that you are trying to accomplish. Sometimes you have things or mental blocks going on that have nothing to do with you know business or are, uh, are, are the most present things in life and so this is a way for you to kind of put them out clear your mind journal 
It's a way of speaking to yourself, keeping yourself accountable. You probably won't use all of these different sections at one time, but they're there for you to experience as you go along through this template. Okay, in this section, we have action. It's to take action on your vision. It's not enough to just have a vision, but you have to take the steps. You have to take action towards accomplishing whatever that vision is. So we click on that. I have it broken down between season and week. So you click on here and you'll recognize some of the stuff that's on the home page. All of this stuff is connected with one another. And so this is just to take action based on the season that you're in right now. And then this one right here is to take action based off your week. So this will always forever be changing as the weeks go by. Here in the finance section right here is to keep track of your finances. Listen, we gotta keep track of what we got going on personally whether it's uh, bills, uh, rent, mortgage, things like that, and even our business, all of our business expenses as well. So if you're not using something already to keep track of those things, then this is a way right here for you to do it yourself manually. So here in the finance section, we got the profit tracker and we have my accounts. All of this stuff is still linked to the homepage, so you've already seen it, but this is a way to track your profit when it comes to your business. And then this is to keep track of your accounts, whether it's your bank account, your crypto account, stocks, any sort of savings, things like that, investments. This is a way for you to keep track of it manually as well. So you want to keep track of your finances because in today's time, it is way too easy to lose track of how much money is going in and out of your bank accounts. With having apps that automatically take money out of your accounts, automatic payments, paying for things just using your phone, it is just so easy to lose track of your spending. And it's even more difficult to know how much you're bringing in as well. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your finances. And it's very important for business because you always want to stay on good rounds when it comes to your finances and your business. So right here, this is just a resource section. As you can see, I have fitness, content ideas, movies and shows, just different things to, you know, quickly keep track of certain stuff. So if you're into fitness like myself, then you probably want to, you know, have a track of your fitness journey. I just added this section right here. So it's interesting things I found about fitness or nutrition. So if you found a recipe that you might like, maybe you want to throw that in here. Maybe there's an exercise routine you might be into. Uh, you can note that inside of here as well. You can even li put links in here. You can do whatever you want, but this is a section that's really built for that. And you can also add to these things as well. It doesn't have to just be fitness. You know, I got movies and shows right here as well. So if you're into binging certain things or or if you're looking forward to certain shows that are coming back, or maybe you want to have a movie or something on your, you know, to watch list, you can put all these different things in here as well. This is kind of meant to be fun also for your hobbies and things like that. And then obviously content ideas. So if you are, um, if your business revolves around uh, creating content on social media, then you can put all the different notes in here, thumbnails, video titles, video ideas, content strategies. This is really a, a place to kind of jot these things down so you don't forget. And so that's what this resources section is all about. If you made it this far, pat yourself on the back and thank you for watching the video all the way through. And if you want to go ahead and get that template for yourself, I do have a link in the description where you can get yourself this exact template so that you can edit it yourself and do what you need to do to boost your productivity and creativity. Other than that, I'm Mike Garvey and I'll catch you in the next video.